Aloha everybody, this is Gina and we are over in front of the beautiful Hilton Hawaiian Village. Now, this is one of those places as a travel agent that I get so many requests for. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the property. I'm gonna show you everything that this property has to offer. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Now let's get started with our tour of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. All right, so we're gonna start off at the lagoon. So the lagoon is super peaceful. It has no waves. There are some water activities that you can do there. They have these giant bikes that you can ride and you can also paddleboard there and you can snorkel. So something you're gonna notice here, so many fish. Take a peek at this right here. You can see that I haven't even walked into the water, but I can see the schools of fish right here from the sand. Now this isn't a huge sand beach, but it definitely has plenty of room for everybody to sit, play, and of course, sunbathe. Some people that are paddle boarding right here. There's some kayaks available as well. There's some floating inner tubes, and then the bicycles are gonna be located way back there. The cool thing is that you do not have to be a guest of the hotel in order to rent any of this equipment. By the way, right behind me is gonna be the lawn where we have a lot of weddings and events at this hotel. So this is the Hilton Grand Vacations Club. This is a timeshare property. This is the Lagoon Tower right here. Now this is gonna be the tower that is located closest to the lagoon and is part of the timeshare. You're gonna notice that directly across the lagoon is the beautiful Rainbow Tower. Now, you might have seen this on some talk shows and game shows, such as Wheel of Fortune. This tower is going to be part of the hotel and is located on the opposite side of the lagoon. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where the check-in area is. Now, they do have valet, they do have parking, but I do wanna warn you, parking over here in the island is really expensive. So there are resort fees as well associated with this hotel, which is pretty standard when it comes to hotels over here in Hawaii. But the lobby is really beautiful. It's open air and it's located right by some fountains and some turtles. All right, so right behind me is gonna be the check-in area. Now today it isn't that busy, but when you come sometimes it does have quite a bit of a line, but they get it moving and they get you to your rooms really quickly. You're also gonna notice that there's some desks behind me. They do offer a luau here. It's the Waikiki Starlight Luau. So if you are not interested in traveling to PCC or up to Waimea, this is a great option for a luau and it's right at your hotel, so super convenient. They also have a couple other desks that you're gonna see that are for excursions. So you can do anything from visiting Pearl Harbor, swimming with sharks, I have a video on that, you can check that out in the link over here, or just do a Circle Island tour, visit the Dole Plantation, go see the rest of the island. One of the things that I find the coolest about this property is that there's so much nature and you get to see things like these koi fish, turtles, and also some of the most exotic, beautiful birds. Now, they call this place Hilton Hawaiian Village and they are not exaggerating because this thing is a whole village in and of itself. So this hotel holds 2,800 guests. It's large, there's five towers. One of the questions that I get asked the most is which tower is the best one to stay in? So that really depends on a lot of different things. If you'd rather have your room be away from the majority of the action, a little bit more quiet, you would pick one of the towers that's gonna to be a little bit closer to the entrance versus if you wanna be closest to the pool, the rainbow tower is gonna to get you right there. A lot of the rooms are renovated and they all kind of come at different prices. And I always check everything to see what the best deal is for all of my clients. Now, I never know which tower is going to have the best deal, but I always tell people, just call me and we'll go through it and see what works best for your family. I find that this resort is really great for families. I also think that it's really awesome for people who don't really want to walk too much because everything is right here. So there's going to be two pools that are located right off of the lobby. This one is a really large pool. You can see how much sea
seating is available. There's definitely plenty, and there's a good amount of people here today. And then right across from it is gonna be the smaller pool, and this one is a little bit more quiet, not as steep, no diving on this one, but they do have handicapped accessible facilities. There's also gonna be a bar behind there, and there are bathroom facilities as well. The thing that everybody wants to know is how close am I to the beach? Well, when you're staying at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, you are literally just steps from the lobby to this big, expansive, beautiful beach. Right now, the hotel is pretty crowded. However, there is plenty of space. So you don't ever have to worry about, is the beach so crowded that I can't really get a seat or I can't get an umbrella? There's plenty of room here and it goes on and on and on. And it is one of the widest beaches and longest beaches over here in Waikiki. So I think you're really gonna love the size of this beach. So as you can see, as we're walking, there are a lot of people on the beach, but everybody is pretty spread out and there's plenty of room. Another question that people ask me a lot is how rough are the waves here? This is one of those areas where the waves really aren't that powerful, mainly because there's a rock wall there, but it doesn't mean that you should go all the way out because we do have rip currents here in Hawaii and they can be extremely dangerous. So it's always good to stay as close to the coastline as possible if you don't have a lot of experience swimming or surfing. You're also gonna notice here that there are some people that are snorkeling. There's plenty of marine life that you can see just from this resort. So if you aren't renting a car or if you're not doing a tour, don't feel like you're gonna miss out because there is a lot to see here. This, by the way, is the Rainbow Tower, so you can see how large these towers are over here at the Hilton Hawaiian. Here are the rest of the towers right there. This facility is just huge. There's no two ways about it. It's just a really large hotel. There's also an option to check out the Atlanta Submarines. This is also located right on the resort. They also have some sunset cruises as well. Another question that I got is, is there anywhere to learn how to surf? So right at your resort, they actually have the information for surf schools. They have two hour groups, they have private lessons, and you can make a reservation right at the activities desk. So one thing to note is that there are not any all-inclusive resorts over here in the islands of Hawaii, but we do have some resorts that include breakfasts or snacks. Hilton Hawaiian is not one of them. However, they do have 18 restaurants or lounges where you can grab a bite to eat. They're also really conveniently located to some other restaurants that are super close and within walking distance. I would say it takes about 10 minutes from the lobby to get across the street in Waikiki. Something cool about this place is that it has this paved walking area. So they call this the Waikiki Beach Walk. It goes from the Ilikai all the way down. It is paved, it's fairly flat. So if there's anybody with strollers or mobility issues, it's perfect for getting around. Now, as I mentioned before, there's 18 food and beverage facilities over here on the Hilton Hawaiian property. So Tropics is right behind me. This is a really popular one, really great for breakfast and lunch, and you also get an ocean view while you're eating here. I'm gonna walk you through the village part of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. I'm gonna show you a bunch of the restaurants that are here. I'm also gonna show you some of the quick marts. There is even an ABC store here. So if you have been doing any research on Hawaii, you will notice that people People talk about the ABC store. If you're on the East Coast, think of like a Wawa amped up. It's like the best 7-Eleven. This ABC store is awesome. You can get everything from souvenirs to clothing to food to liquor, like literally everything at the ABC store. So I'm going to walk you through there too. First, I'm going to show you some of the other businesses that are located here. And believe it or not, there's even a tattoo parlor on the property. So you're going to notice that we have a lot of shops that have swim and surf and sun gear. So if you forget anything, don't worry at all. There's plenty. This is the Ali'i Tower, which is kind of one of the more expensive towers, but it's super nice, really great service as well. And I love the decor that they did in this tower. Little side note, this is Jason Kelsey's favorite slipper because they are so comfortable and durable. 
They're a little pricey though. Another thing you never have to worry about is if you forget your slippers, we have plenty of stores for that. And then if you're looking for some kind of Aloha wear, they also have that on this property. They do have some reasonable sales and they put things on special now and then, but there's clothes for the whole family on the resort. So if you feel like you did not bring something that you wanted to bring or you wanna wear something special to the luau, this is definitely gonna be the place for that. All right, so there it is. Aloha tattoo right here on the property. So if you're looking for a tattoo on vacation, boom, you got it, it's right there. So if you're gonna take the Pride of America cruise, there is a desk right here in the Hilton Hawaiian Village. So a lot of people do a pre-cruise or a post-cruise, and this is yeah, where they choose to no stay. You will notice that there's the sign right there for Norwegian, really easily identifiable and super easy to get to. This is where you're gonna pick up the shuttle. This is where you're gonna ask any questions in regards to the cruise right here, right outside the lobby. For any of my Japanese guests that are coming, this is the Lea Lea and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but basically it's gonna be an entire office that can help you with tours in Japanese, but there's a ton of information over here. So if you're looking for anything in particular, you can come right over here. Okay, so now I'm walking over by the Tapa Tower. Now you're gonna notice there's an Aloha bowl, so you can get smoothies, tea, acai bowls, and it's gonna be located right by the pool. This is yet another pool on the property. All right, so the nice thing about the top of pool is that it's located very close to the top of bar. So during the daytime, it serves as a facility for breakfast and lunch and dinner, but at nighttime, they actually have live music. So it's really cool because they have the stage over here. So if you're looking for something to do, but you don't feel like wandering out into town, this place really gets bumping at night and it's actually super fun. There was a bunch of people dancing and singing the last time we were here. As you can hear, they're testing out the music right now. Also, there's lots of loungers available at the top of pool, and there's that cute little water feature as well. Another question I get fairly frequently is how many elevators are there? Believe it or not, that's one of the things that people ask me all the time because they don't wanna to have to wait for elevators all day. So I'm gonna show you right now. This is just the top of tower, but over here we have eight elevators. Now, right outside of the top of tower, there's gonna to be even more shopping. The one thing you're gonna notice about this hotel is that there are lots and lots of stores. So if you're looking for specific souvenirs or if you're just looking for Aloha wear, you're definitely gonna find it here. There are a ton of places to buy clothes without having to go to the swap meet or in the city. As promised, I'm gonna take it inside the ABC store. Now this is where you're gonna find some of the most reasonably priced food and toiletries and just all kinds of things short of going to Ala Moana and going to like the Target or even going to Walmart or Sam's Club. But if you're not looking to like leave the resort and you just really wanna relax somewhere for the week, everything's gonna be right here. Wait till you see the store. Let's start off with the fact that they have pretty much every liquor possible. And I know you're probably wondering like how much is all of this gonna cost? Just to give you an idea, even some of the sand mats here, you're looking at about like $3.50. So it's not crazy expensive because let's be realistic, Hawaii is expensive. And you know, if you can get a bargain anywhere, this is definitely gonna be the place. These hoodies right here are $32, but they're two for 60. There's plenty of Aloha shirts. They have them here two for 40. Just to give you an idea of what what things will run. So they have some island soaps, they have plenty of sunscreen. If you're worried about getting sunscreen and making sure you have the correct one for Hawaii, which has to be reef safe sunscreen, they're definitely gonna have it over here. As you can see, it's not crazy expensive, but then again, um, not quite sure what these run on the mainland, but I can tell you that over here, this is pretty much typical. They also have cigarettes and cigars and I believe vapes as well. Okay, so let's talk souvenirs. So you can get some reasonably priced souvenirs over here. Now, of course, there's gonna be some things that are probably priced a lot higher than the mainland, but for the most part, there's definitely plenty for you to choose from here. We have everything from the keychains, from the Aloha wear, and lotions, and floats, and goggles. So there really is such a wide variety of things that you can buy at an ABC store. And like I said, not everything is horribly priced you're gonna see some high some low but for the most part you can definitely buy a lot of things at a reasonable price without having to leave the resort 
As you can see, plenty of souvenirs here, lots of Hawaii themed items. Magnets are definitely a big thing. We see these pretty much in every store that we go into. You can also get plumeria. So this would be the root that you would bring home and you can plant it. Um, let's see how much these are running right now. $6.99. So, I mean, I don't know. I've been living here a long time, so maybe I'm jaded by the prices, but I think that these prices are pretty good. They have cocoa nut lays, and they also have fresh lays here, and then lots of wood products. They have ukulele, they have these cutting boards, they have some cups. So a lot of people like to take these home with them. They're really beautiful. They're really cool, and I love the way it has um, diamond head on there and just, you know, the overall Aloha vibe. So if you want to bring cookies home or some local snacks, this is definitely a great place to grab some. Kauai Cookie has this variety pack. It's gonna be macadamia nut and coffee. That's only $14 for the little pack, so that's perfect to just put in your suitcase. If you're looking for some other kind of snacks, we do have hurricane popcorn, and then of course we have Tostitos and Cheetos and all of those as well. One thing about Hawaii, there's plenty of ramen. So if you're looking for any kind of ramen, you can definitely find it here. By the way, personally, I think these are some of the best potato chips. And these right here, are my absolute favorite. If you get a chance, check these out. These are taro chips made from the taro plant. These are just amazing. All right, so let's talk about ABC store and food. You can get a bunch of grab and go food here. It's actually pretty good. So they do have hot meals. They do have cold meals as well. So I'm gonna show you right now just some of the things that you can grab. They have some bentos in here. Of course, musubi. There's all different kinds from egg and bacon to spam to katsu always have coffee these little southwest chicken salads there's lots of yogurt awesome pies if you get a chance check out the pies here i love this one in particular this is going to be the chocolate halpia pie halpia means coconut over here in hawaii lots of juices yogurts anything that you may need especially like if kids want any kind of snacks there's string cheese Plenty of ice cream, lots and lots of ice cream as you can see. I love that we have some local ice cream here too. This is Uncle's Ice Cream Cookie Sandwiches. These things are so good, you gotta try those. Now, when it comes to drinks, as you can see, we clearly have plenty. If you're looking for some local beers, this one is gonna be one. This is the Maui Brewing Company. You also have Aloha Beer. There's Honolulu Beer Works. Um, longboards are really huge here. Everybody really enjoys longboards big waves, so plenty of local companies so you can sample the local beer scene as well. This is Kohana. So this is actually a rum factory. It's located a little bit more on the western part of the island. It's really close to the Dole Plantation. So if you're looking for a rum tasting, that would definitely be somewhere to check out. This is a small ABC store. So there's other stores that actually sell like New York strips and all kinds of hot food made fresh to order. But this one does have some really great bentos you can see with super fresh salmon and um, lots of sandwiches. You have your classics, your egg salad, your tuna salad, your ham and cheese, and then this is awesome. Now, if you've ever tried papaya but you've never seen it served with lime, you gotta try it. That sourness really makes the fruit pop and it is just so good. I feel like everybody that comes here definitely wants to try the fruit. And I will say, I feel that Hawaii has the best pineapple like in the world. I think it's just fantastic. So you can get a little pre-cut one for $5.99. As you can see, the wine selection is just huge here. If you stop by here, this is something that I think you should really bring home. I love these Hawaiian Sun banana, macadamia nut, pineapple coconut pancakes. Have to try the Hawaiian Sun coconut syrup. It is just so good. And our jams and jellies here are just awesome. So if you're looking to try some local candies, this is Noms. They are huge here. They have leaking moi on them, which is like sour plum on top of all different kinds of candies. Everywhere you go here, you're gonna see a collection of macadamia nuts. There's all different kinds of products that you can buy here. Everything from clusters to bars. So this right here is gonna be the entrance of the hotel 
from the street and this is where you're gonna find so many restaurants you're going to find so many different places to shop we even have a Louis Vuitton over here so I'm gonna walk you through it I'm gonna show you everything there now look we went to one ABC store on the right hand side of the hotel but believe it or not there's actually another one over here so the number of shops here is just like really convenient so if you're looking for a place that kind of has everything all in one facility this is definitely gonna be the spot for you all right so besides being a travel agent over here in Hawaii. I'm also an event and wedding planner. And believe it or not, Hilton Hawaiian has an amazing venue for weddings. This beautiful church that's located behind me is absolutely gorgeous. I had such a beautiful couple that got married here last year. I'll throw the link to that video over here just so that you can take a look at it because we can't go in today since it's closed. It's a beautiful, beautiful chapel and their reception was gorgeous. It was held over here at the Coral Ballroom. You're gonna see a lot of events here. There's proms, there's conferences. As a matter of fact, my kids are actually working a conference today. So if you're thinking about a destination wedding, this could definitely be a great location for you to check out. A lot of people ask me this as well. So there is hair braiding and henna over here and it's gonna be located right outside of the lobby. So this is gonna be a coffee shop that's located right off of the lobby. As you can see, it's like super nice and there's plenty of coffees and teas and there's even areas to sit down. All right, so right across the lobby is going to be the beginning of what I'm considering the little village here. So you're gonna see so many shops here. Now, Lafferts is one of our favorite ice cream spots. By the way, Lafferts has some amazing cookies. Make sure that you don't skip out on the cookies and the ice cream. There's an Italian restaurant called Fresco. You have round table pizza. Kona Mountain Coffees and Chocolates, and a jewelry store. We have Tori Richard here. Tori Richard makes a lot of Aloha clothes, and actually, I used to work over at Disney Aulani, and our uniforms were made by Tori Richard. This is actually a really nice store. Some of the decor that they have here, lots of Aloha, lots of beach theme. So if you decide that you like it here so much, you wanna make this a permanent vacation spot, you can actually check out this facility. This is gonna be the Hilton Grand. This is where the timeshare facility is located. And it does have a model of the Hilton Hawaiian so that you can take a look at it. So if we were to fly a drone, this is what you would actually see. Here's the lagoon that you saw me start off at today. There's the rainbow tower. There's two of the pools right there. And then the top of the tower, and that's gonna be the set of ballrooms located in the back. But you can really get a good idea of the size of this facility just from this model in here. Here are a few restaurants you're gonna see. This is CJ's New York Delicacy. Tessin. Now look, one thing that's super popular over here in Hawaii is definitely the garlic shrimp. You're gonna see this at pretty much every restaurant. So Blue Water Shrimp is located right over here as well. This is gonna be like a plate lunch location. So if you're not familiar with plate lunch, over here in Hawaii we generally have a terry chicken, terry beef, some ribs, loco moco, which is one of my favorite. It's a beef patty with some eggs and rice and of course more garlic shrimp. And there we go, we have some fried calamari, lobster tail, fish and chips, mahi-mahi, and some snapper, and of course some ahi. I think we have some of the best ahi here. By the way, check out these pineapples here. So golden. These, I can smell these. I wish I had smell-o-vision for you right now. This beautiful banyan tree is located right in the center of all of these shops. You're going to see some really beautiful architecture here. Now this particular building reminds me a lot of the Korean temple that I have in one of my other videos so I'll link that so you can take a look at that as well and I love this store. So this is the Waikiki Christmas store. We get a lot of our ornaments here because you can have them customized. You can have this type of an ornament made and then where you see um, the blank portion you can have all of your names put in. So if you're looking for some local prints and items the happy wahine, wahine actually means woman in Olelo which is Hawaiian language they have some really pretty prints. So this is a jewelry store that you're gonna see all over the islands and this is where a lot of the like beautiful local jewelry is from that you may see people wearing. There is not one trip to Hawaii that is complete unless you hit up Honolulu Cookie Company. 
So I can't tell you how many people come here for these shortbread cookies. It is really one of those things that like, you just have to try it. They offer samples here. So we're gonna just take a peek at these right here. We have some pineapple macadamia, mango macadamia, butter, lemon, and some chocolate chip macadamia. They sell them in a bunch of different ways. So you can see right here some of the prices. So you can get a peek. All right, so remember I mentioned that there's another ABC store, so I'm gonna take you inside this one. It's pretty similar to the one that I just showed you, but still, we'll just go take a peek at it real quick. Again, you'll notice they have a really good liquor collection, lots of wine. Food might be a little bit different here. Oh, they actually have some mochi here. Love mochi if you've never tried it. That's a rice cake. It can be filled with everything from red bean. I don't think of bean like as in um, something savory. It's actually sweet and it's really, really good. It's a very popular Asian snack, Korean, Japanese, they all have their version. This is gonna be ube and halpia. So ube is purple potato. You're gonna see a lot of ube here. This is really pretty good too. This strawberry cream mochi. And so this one has like whipped cream inside, lots of poke here. There's lots of sushi, sashimi. Each store kind of has a little bit of a different vibe and some different snacks and some different foods. As you can see, this one has a pretty decent selection of clothing. There's some plush stuffed animals and of course the wood and lots of little jewelry you can take home. At another location for Aloha Tattoo, it's gonna be located on the opposite side. This one's gonna be near Honolulu. We're gonna see a bunch of these pearl factories here on the island, and it's pretty cool because they open up the oyster for you right there. You can see what kind of pearl comes out, so they have a bunch of different varieties. They have some pink, some gray, some white. Really beautiful, so if you're into pearls, this is definitely a place to check it out. All right, so one of the last areas that I wanted to take you to is actually the ballroom area. So they have a bunch of ballrooms here. It can accommodate a few guests or a few hundred. It really depends on what you're looking for. So if you do want to have a traditional type of wedding here or any kind of conference here, this is a great facility to do it. It's absolutely beautiful here. It's recently remodeled. I want to say they have over 10 ballrooms here. I've had quite a few events here and my kids are actually working an event over here right now and they do a really nice job putting everything together. So I'm going to show you where they hold the luau here. Now I think this area is just really pretty it's actually located at the top where the ballrooms are and you have an ocean view. They have a buffet and of course a performance. So if you're looking to go to a luau that's gonna be super convenient for you while you're staying here, all you have to do is walk right up to the ballrooms and you're there. So I hope you enjoyed this small recap of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. I realize I didn't cover every single aspect, so if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them down below. Now, if you wanna plan a Hawaii vacation, by all means, reach out to me. My information is down below as well. I'm gonna throw a bunch of the links in this video for some of the places that we eat that are really close by to this hotel. And I'm also gonna throw a link for a wedding that I did over at this facility as well, just in case anybody is looking to get married in Hawaii. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Aloha.